I get these questions from the people saying that I'm a mechanical engineer or a BCom graduate. Can I learn data science? The answer is yes. I can say for sure you can learn data science. And the reason I'm saying uh, this is because I know few people in my life who have become a successful data scientist or a software engineer and they come from a totally non-technical background. And these people are not genius, they are average people. So if they can do it, you can also do it. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can learn data science effectively uh, using a step-by-step -step approach. This video has two sections. In the first one, I will go through all the topics that you need to learn uh, for data science. And the second section will show you the resources that you can use uh, to learn these topics. Now, it all, of course, uh, starts with a programming language. Data science is a process of drawing insights from data and you need programming language to operate on this data. Python and R are the two most popular programming languages used by data scientists. If you ask me for my preference, I would always go with Python because once you learn Python, you can do a full stack application development. Now, if you try to master Python, it might take a long time. So you want to learn only few topics in Python and then you want to move on. You don't want to be stuck with Python for one entire year. So these few topics are variables and numbers, the basic uh, data types such as strings, list, dictionaries, uh, control flow structures such as if and for loops, functions, and some basic understanding of Python modules as well as reading and writing files. Once you know all these topics, you are ready to move on to the next big topic which is NumPy and Pandas. NumPy and Pandas allow you to do data cleaning and data exploration. Data scientists spend majority of their time in data cleaning and data cleaning is very essential because the data that comes in real life is very very messy and you want to clean that data, drop unnecessary features, handle any values and so on. And for doing that, NumPy and Pandas are very, very useful. In NumPy and Pandas also, you want to only focus on few topics such as data frame and series basics. Data frame is the main object in Pandas that allows you to represent the tabular data. You want to know how to create a data frame from various files such as Excel CSV or even from SQL table. Then you want to know how to handle any values in data frame and Pandas data frame has nice APIs which allows you to handle uh, any values. Then you want to learn how to merge and concat the data frames, how to do group by and how to do different type, SQL type of operations on uh, these data frames. Now of course when you are uh, coding, uh, you need code editor to write the code and these code editors are also known as IDE, Integrated Development Environments. I prefer PyCharm or Visual Studio Code as my code editor, so you can pick one of these two. And then along with this, you also need Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Notebook is little different than IDE. It allows you to write code as well as do interactive data visualization. So I find myself using Jupyter Notebook all the time. And in addition to Notebook, uh, one of the code editors, either PyCharm or VS Code is uh, required. Data visualization is a technique used by data scientists for doing data exploration. And for that, you can pick either matplotlib or seaborn. These are the two Python libraries that allows you to do data visualization. In these libraries also, uh, you need to know the basic chart types such as line chart, bar chart, uh, pie chart. You need to also know histograms for plotting the frequency distribution. Uh, knowing axis labels, legends and grids allow you to plot your chart in a beautiful way. And then of course scatter plot is important in plotting your data into two dimensional space. So once you know these basic uh, type of charts, you are 
ready to move on to the next topic which is sql as a data scientist you are always dealing with uh, data you are retrieving data from some data tables and for which you need to use structured query language and you need to have a good understanding of relational database let's say there is already a big database within your company and as a data scientist now you want to get that data to do your data analysis and data might be scattered into multiple tables now you need to know how to perform join between the tables how to run select queries where queries you know order by and group by clause so just these basic understanding of sql will help you a lot with uh, data collection as well as data analysis you of course need to have good understanding of math and statistics as a data scientist when you are dealing with huge volume of data you want to use some statistical concepts such as mean median normal distribution standard deviation for removing outliers etc and some basics about probability and descriptive and inferential statistics all these topics are going to help you in your data analysis process when it comes to math of course linear algebra differential calculus knowing all these uh, topics are very helpful now if you got let's say 2 out of 50 in your maths uh, class during your school days don't worry too much about it uh, math is something that you can learn gradually so if math was your weakest point don't think that i cannot become data scientist that is not true you can improve your math gradually by uh, referring to the the math from uh, good resources for example one of the good resources 3 blue 1b youtube channel that person explains math in such a beautiful poetic way that math doesn't sound that complex okay so if you are patient enough and if you take step by step approach then you can conquer math as well then comes machine learning of course as a data scientist you will be building machine learning model if you are using python sk learn is the library that everyone uses for machine learning in sk learn you need to know how to build a regression and classification model okay these two are supervised learning techniques other than that you can learn unsupervised learning techniques such as k means in order to convert your text data into numbers because machine learning models understand only numbers you need to know some encoding techniques such as one hot encoding or label encoding train test split a k fold cross validation grid search cv all these are essential in evaluating model performance and deciding the best model and doing hyper parameter tuning so you need to have a good understanding of all these concepts as well then comes deep learning uh, for deep learning the two most popular libraries or frameworks are tensorflow which is from google and pytorch which is from facebook there is theano as well from microsoft so you need to know one of these frameworks and just get your understanding clear on what is neural network what are like hidden layers and output layers what is activation functions what are different types of neural networks uh, cnn rnn and so on now one last very important tool i want to mention is microsoft excel whether people like it or not excel is still being used in data analysis when your data size is small and if you don't want to write code for doing data analysis excel comes really handy in excel you can set different data filters you can apply formulas you can even plot different charts use vlookup and pivot tables it has a rich set of functionality which allows you to do data analysis uh, in a quick way in this diagram here i have outlined all the tools that we discussed i'm going to provide a link of this entire presentation in video description below so you can refer to all these topics uh, later on as well so don't forget to check the video description other than these tools when it comes to enterprise tool there are for example there are things like tableau and power bi that people use for uh, data visualization there is hadoop and spark that uh, data scientists use uh, for storing big data and for distributed computing amazon sagemaker and google cloud compute allows you to do a cloud based uh, machine learning computing
So all these are uh, enterprise level tools that um, if you know it's of course well and good but when you're starting uh, your data science journey you don't need to know them. You can just start with the initial set of tools that I mentioned and then when you have time you can learn these enterprise tools as well. Now whatever tools and technologies I mentioned uh, an effective way to learn these tools is a project based learning approach. What I mean by that is you start out with a project and then in order to finish that project whatever technologies and tools are required you learn them step by step. This way you have a concrete goal in mind and while you're learning all these topics, you're also slowly making a progress in your project. For example, you decide to build a website for home price, price prediction. Now, you take this project as your end goal, and in order to finish this project, whatever you need to learn, Python, NumPy, machine learning, you just learn them step by step, and you make gradual progress in that project. And in the end, after two or three months, you would have finished the project as well as learn all these different topics required for data science. Uh, for this particular project, which is home pie price prediction, I have a complete tutorial playlist. Uh, so you should uh, probably go through that where I have shown how to build that website, um, where there is like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, UI, there is Python Flask server, and there is machine learning aspect machine learning model building aspect to it there is data cleaning there are just this project just covers pretty much all the topics which are required in data science so i highly recommend that you uh, go through this uh, tutorial list now let's talk about from where you can learn all these different topics starting with python i have a nice python tutorial playlist in this playlist you can follow up to 16 tutorials I would say and that will get you started. This is the tutorial designed for an absolute beginner so you should be able to get good understanding of Python basics by following this tutorial. Then comes pandas. For pandas also I have a very nice tutorial playlist where I use a uh, weather data uh, for doing pandas manipulation. Here in this list also you can follow till uh, nine tutorial okay so just follow this uh, nine videos and after that uh, you are good to go then comes Jupyter notebook for that I have simple three tutorial playlist which will give you idea on what is Jupyter notebook how you can use it how you can install it so if you're not familiar with this notebook concept then this will be the best place to uh, get started then comes matplotlib for matplotlib also i have a seven video uh, playlist and these are like very short and simple videos which will give you an understanding of how to do plotting and data visualization in matplotlib for sql i like this guy kuda venkat he has a nice tutorial playlist so here you can follow till I would say joins so up to 12 so just follow uh, the up to 12 tutorials and that will uh, give you a good understanding of what is the relational database joins and various SQL concepts okay now all these tutorial playlists that I'm mentioning I'm going to provide link of them in the video description below so don't forget to check video description it has tons of useful information when it comes to statistics, I recommend this Think Stats book. It's a free PDF book available on internet. So you can just download it and you can get your statistics concepts clear. One other place to check out is Khan Academy's uh, statistics and probability course. So this has like nice video uh, tutorials. So you can just follow that. For machine learning, I have another playlist which will give you a basic understanding of supervised unsupervised uh, learning as well as one hot, hot encoding k means grid source cv all those cool concepts so in this playlist i recommend that you follow all the tutorials because those are all very useful it has uh, 
three deep learning tutorials as well and then uh, there is like a data science projects where i show how to build a website for home price prediction or uh, step by step for deep learning there is another coursera course which is available for free for python uh, there is a book called automate the boring stuff with python this is also available freely online or digital copy is available for free for python data science uh, there is this book called python data science handbook uh, that is available for free on internet so check this out it has covered all the like numpies and pandas and data cleaning and all those aspects it has covered uh, pretty much in depth you can see that it has machine learning also there is an edx course for python for data science this is another great course you can check it out if you want to earn a certificate then you have to pay the fees otherwise just to watch videos and going through the course there is no fees there are a couple of other edx courses this one is uh, data science essentials from microsoft then there is uh, data science foundations and then there is learning from data so i hope that gives you some direction on how to learn data science if you have your own ideas or any free online resources that you are aware about which can help other people then post them in a video comment below